So before I go a little bit deep into what is post-training test, I'd like to talk about two different type of M ML deployment uh, strategies. One is online learning. So online learning is a deployment strategy which is used for streaming data or data which changes quite frequently in time. So here the model learns real time and it tests and predicts real time. So basically there's no model size saving happening. You Everything is running on the fly. And that's why in this case, latency testing can be really important. Latency testing, meaning you have to check whether what speed of response your model has. So this is something that I experienced firsthand actually. So for example, on all this online model, if you are trying to uh, train them with hyperparameters, you can't really use uh, grid search CV or random search CV uh, because then that makes the whole hypertuning process quite uh, lengthy in time and that delays your response. So it is better to avoid such practices in hypertuning and rather than going with that, you should experiment and decide on static values for each hyperparameters and then use it in a model rather than doing it online because it would be just too much of a latency. Having talked that, talk about that, now we come to the batch learning deployment. This is something which is very commonly used in a machine learning model where, you know, like for the example that I gave about the classifier of dog and cat. Dog and cat faces will remain same over how many years you can you can think of. So this that's why the learning can happen offline, meaning uh, there's no change on in the training data as often. So the model can learn offline and then if it's pre pre presented with a new dog's image uh, it's able to classify based off the learning it did on offline so this is something which is uh, where the load testing is really important meaning since a lot of training data is required we need to make sure that there is a parallel access to our database for all of this data and one way to do that is to use sql alchemy uh, that ensures that all, all of your access to DB and different DB connections have parallel access. This can be tested using synthetic data shipments. You can create synthetic data shipments and try to give it parallelly as an input to the model and see whether it's able to handle. Another way to automate such kind of testing, uh, load testing is using some tools like Locust. 